Like, if this is the the, the stupidest mistake you've ever seen in PvP, I don't know what is. <laughs> Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Racial Legends video. Another Monday, another plat push video. Um, I know you guys like to watch these. These videos don't get a ton of views, but I like to go through my mistakes basically for climbing up in the arena every week and see where I did wrong and what I should improve next week. So obviously, 10 a.m. the 10 a.m. Re reset is not the best for me as a player. I think I would rather have a you know a 10 p.m. Reset instead, ideally that would be the best, but of course it's a worldwide game and not every player has the best kind of reset. Other players like Manibal have it at 3 a.m. I think. I don't know about other people, like uh, I think Hell Hades has it at 8 a.m. for his time. So it's even worse, worse for some people. And uh, well, anyway, today I'm just gonna show you what kind of mistakes that I did. So 22 minutes. Uh, no, this, this side, 22 minutes to go. I was starting out well, about 50, no, 60, 70, 70 or so points away from Platinum with 22 minutes to go. I think this was my first mistake. I should have started pushing way, way harder because I was awake way before that. I could, I did have the time, but I just didn't, uh, I was doing other stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm going to start my, my plat push right now. And I, basically I want to show you one of the teams that I found difficult and well, I'll show you all the teams that I found difficult and actually lost the fight. So let's go to the first part. Okay, so um, starting out, uh, we did get a couple of wins. So 4,665 points uh, with 18 minutes to go. But the thing is, I saw this team right here and I thought, okay, this guy should be easy. But um, yeah, I was actually mistaken because of the Valkyrie. Basically, it totally messed up everything in my team and how I did there. So uh, I'll just show you how this goes right here. And uh, this is a Gergo. I thought, OK, I should be able to beat it with my normal team. I just put Arbiter, Lissandra, uh, my uh, I think, did I go Madame here? Can't remember. And, and Tranda, I was thinking, OK, what team should I use here? So apparently I went here with this one. So the problem with this one is that, OK, I do, I do get the speed the speed up buffs from everyone, but the jealousy passive you see right here, that's Valkyrie. If you haven't seen my video yesterday, I did get Valkyrie, but I didn't think of using her. So the problem with this, guys, is when I see the Valkyrie teams there, is that although my teams are speed tuned, I, I was not speed tuned for Valkyrie teams. So Valkyrie steals 10% of your speed. So if you do have a... Um, if you speed tuned for Valkyries, then you get a, bit, a little bit more speed on everybody, then you should be able to just beat the Valkyrie teams much easier because you will be speed tuned for Valkyries. So I wasn't speed tuned for Valkyries in this run. And look at this, the enemy Arbiter goes, so I couldn't just go with my Lissandra, boost everyone and actually win the fight. So the enemy Arbiter managed to cut in. Gergo was speed tuned um, basically with Arbiter. So if, Arbit if the enemy Arbiter takes a turn, that's basically a loss. So, you know, Gurgle, what he does, he does an AoE freeze and remove buffs. And then, of course, he's bro. <laughs> he's bro Folly goes next, and I just get destroyed. Look at that. Boom. That was a very big mistake by me. Uh, well, obviously, I couldn't know. I couldn't know if I was faster or not, but I was faster. But I should have been uh, speed tuned against Valkyrie. That's what um, another mistake that I did. So. I should have been speed tuned against Valkyrie. And then the next mistake was actually trying to beat this team again. And uh, knowing, knowing now that I, I wasn't geared correctly. I mean, I could have avoided uh, such a loss. So I, I thought, okay, I'll put a Tormin in there. So Tormin will freeze them with a 35% chance. Now that I think of it, I, I might have, sh should have used something else maybe, but... Here, the same thing happens. So Valkyrie gets frozen, but she does manage to steal that um, that Terminator. So here, Gergo gets frozen, but I think Foley goes and he wrecks me. What happened here? Can't remember. Yeah, Foley goes and he wrecks me. So obviously, Foley cannot get frozen, guys. So like a double mistake, mistake after mistake. <laughs> uh, like I lost. I lost two fights that should have been easy, so 26 points. This cost me platinum, obviously, uh, today. And it would would have all shown in the next few fights if I if I would get platinum. So did I try this team again for a third time? Or what? Did I lose three times in a row? 
Oh man. So I think this was a disaster. Like I put Krisk in there thinking, okay, Krisk will have a shield. And then I forgot that Gurgo actually removes the shield, but he um, didn't get frozen. He didn't get frozen here. So that's the bad thing. Although um, the thinking was correct. So the shield will protect me from the big burst from Foley. Gurgo uh, getting frozen is not... Um, <laughs> Gurgo getting frozen is not, you know, something that will always happen with Torment. So uh, maybe I should have used my own Gurgo to freeze them. But he's not speed tuned as well. And yeah, this is this is a definite loss. Even with some kind of shields, I think the enemy fully goes. I think I still lose, by the way. Or not? Wait, did I win this? No, okay, I won this. Okay. Never mind. I actually... Wait. Uh, the enemy fully goes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just, I can't remember. It's been so many hours. I've done so much stuff since then. Uh, work, the real life work has been uh, exhausting the past two months, guys. And uh, <laughs> I did manage to get a win. But two losses, that was definitely not worth it. I mean, I wasn't getting attacked. This was my defense. So Tormin. Um, Torment Duchess, Krisk, and my Cadrophone. So here I was trying to find some teams where I could easily beat them. So let's go and find the next team that I found some difficulties in. Find a team with um, Sifi, Rotos, Valkyrie, Torment, and I'm actually testing out my own Valkyrie this time. I think it was the second or third time, second or third time for the day. And so Valkyrie, my brand new Valkyrie built her um, specifically for PvP purposes. So here, um, I actually go first. So what I was thinking here, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to get frozen. But then I thought the enemy Valkyrie will, will get a, uh, you know, Terminator boost. I get frozen here by Tormin. I cleanse here with my, with my, um, <laughs> my Sky Touched. And I think next, next time I'm, I'm pushing flat, I'm going to try with a, uh, an immunity set Tranda, although I think my damage won't be enough. But uh, we'll see until then. Maybe I, I can farm a bit. So here Tranda goes. And I managed to get some kills. And I think it was lucky. If I if I had more freezes maybe. Or um, maybe if, the, if... No, the freezes wouldn't have been affected. Because Skytouch would have cleansed. I think if CP was a little bit faster. Maybe things would have been different. So here it's just a win. Eventually we actually win. So I'll skip to the next part. The next team. Let's see which one it is. So, okay, this team. Yeah, this team is a disaster, actually. So, this team is a disaster because of all, all the buffs. I don't think I beat it. Can't remember. Uh, so, three freezes there. Look at all those counters. We cleanse. It's time for my... Uh, it's time for my Tranda to go. Obviously, Tranda is a big, big burster. That's why I have her with a Savage set. That's why teams like this can possibly be taken down by a Tranda um, in low platinum, in the entrance for low platinum. So look at this. We actually beat them down, beat the Valkyrie shield, and beat uh, whatever defense they had. So obviously, big, big burst by Tranda there. And this goes for a little bit longer until we get the, the next revive and uh, Valkyrie takes a turn. So these fights go for a little bit longer than I wanted to. So I'm very close to plat right here. Uh, 20 points away with 8 minutes to spare. 8 minutes is not bad for 20 points. But the thing is you should be in plat and fighting if you want to get a top position. So I was trying to get top 200 obviously. And um, I'm not in a clan or anything so I don't have any kind of protection or targets not to attack so i don't have a clan not to attack but obviously if i see somebody from for example tau i'm not gonna attack them not because i have a deal with them or anything it's because i know all those guys are pvp oriented and they have the best builds and communication with each other so um they know how to prepare against more offenses and stuff let's see what happens here i'll uh, just get a win so getting six points here that sucked obviously so this one's a torment tranda uh should be an easy one shouldn't have an issue with this one okay this one 
I think I did a big, big mistake. Look at this. Look at this. I have a sky touched in there. I remove sky touched and I put in Madame. Like, if this is the, the the stupidest mistake you've ever seen in PvP, I don't know what is. <laughs> I remove my protection from Tormin and I go in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking, okay, I need to get some easy wins. And I get frozen. I was like, why did I get frozen? And I think my mind was on auto mode as well as taking the fights on auto mode. But uh, yeah, we, we I don't think I get the win here. Um, just constant freezes. I think Astralon gets revived and totally bursts me down next. I think. I think it, that's what happens. So here we put attack down, defense down. I think Astralon just goes and just directs me, right? Why did it do that? Yeah, I didn't want to boost because I would have gotten frozen and then Astralon goes. Does Tranda clear here? No, she gets cleared by Tormin. I, I just, I got angry with myself because of that. Look at that. I was in Platinum and that actually cost me, um, definitely cost me Platinum. Plus the, the two fights with Gurgo. So definitely did three big mistakes versus uh versus these teams i these are these are fights that i shouldn't have lost so um when fighting to get into platinum so to beat the first 100 i shouldn't be doing this kind of mistake especially this this team right here it cost me an easy two minutes uh this team is an easy team to beat i don't see a reason why not to beat it and uh that's how this basically goes yeah trenda goes and easy clap as they say so final team this one this, this one looks easy it's just lydia just remove the big shields i mean i've got the accuracy i've got almost 750 with my uh, madam sirs big burst there uh we even got a stun i don't mind about that because it's an easy kill uh with just 14 seconds farm so here i'm actually in platinum with five minutes remaining i actually thought i had good good um chances here but uh, it's the next five minutes just go wrong here i think this team was incredibly tanky like incredibly tanky like i i, I just don't understand i i know that seeker there has a defense lead and a defense buff that he provides to the team when he does get um crit on but damn look at that look at that look at that barely half health uh, I did get a weak hit there on Kadri Kadrifon. So that kind of sucked. Like maybe maybe I should change nukers on these kind of teams. Maybe I should go for my uh, ethos versus Kadrifons. I mean, it's it's just a joke on how much damage they do. Uh, if you get a weak hit, it, it's just it's just five percent compared to what she actually does. So here, I even. Did A2 there, I try to clear out her and do I win this? I think he goes for Tranda. I did not expect all this tankiness out of uh, this team. So I'll go for A1. Does Catrophone clear me? So we boost, we get frozen. Boom, big A2, there's the extra turn, and he's stealth, but he should be able to just one-shot her. So a big mistake right here. Uh, maybe I should have gone with a Kreskin there, but I did not expect not to be able to burst down this team. Like, even with a, you know, um, I shouldn't have gone, wait, did I go with Lissandra in there? I should have gone with Lissandra, I would have definitely gone first, okay, with this team. I would have gone first and I should have gone with Madame Ceres in there instead of Lissandra. So definitely another mistake there. I, I would have not gone second. No way I would have gone second. So this team, double Roto Sifi. Um, usually I'm scared a bit of uh, Roto Sifi combos just because of how strong a Sifi can be. If she's very, very tanky, she'll just revive them. And Roto's with Sifi, he doesn't get any kind of um, crowd control on them. So it's very difficult to take them down. But Good old Tranda here, I think, just takes him down. I think we stun one of them. Yeah, we stun one of them, remember correctly, and uh, we take him down. So here, um, I'm going back and forth in Platinum with, um, yeah, three minutes 
right here on the clock. Three minutes to spare. I'm just pushing last minute fight. So this one, very tanky setup. Valkyrie, Krisk, um, Duchess, and Kadrophon again. Go with a big A3 here. All buffs are down and big burst. Like these teams are easy. So I was in gold for now. I got back into uh, plat. I did get attacked two times there. This team uh, was okay. I think this team was okay. Just burst it down eventually. And then I, I totally mess up somewhere. I think this was another Gurgo team. Did I mess up the Gurgo team again? Yeah, he goes first, Gurgo. <laughs> she goes first this time. Gurgo goes and I get just burst it down. And I think I try this team again next. Um, Trenda goes, of course I would die. Obviously, so I drop there. Did I go and try the team again? Okay, what did I use? I think I, I think I use uh, Krisk. No, Valkyrie. Okay, Valkyrie makes sense. But here, um, oh, we got resisted. That's why. Okay, see, I didn't realize when I was doing this. So jealousy passive is when she reduces the turn meter. But look at this, the big green resist um, wording right there. That's Gergo resisting the turn meter reduction. I thought he was actually speed tuned there also. So, well, that's why I've, I've lost that one. So maybe I should have gone Tormin. Tormin, Valkyrie, Tranda would have been an easier fight. So two fights lost there with a minute 33 seconds to go. And yeah, uh, this team, it, did I beat this one? I think I beat it. Yeah, easy one, easier one. But the annoying um, Swift parries. And basically, okay, that's it. And a minute to go, and I'm finding easy teams here. This one was easy. I think this one was the last team to actually fight. And that CP there barely survived with a stun. So I think if that wasn't a stun, I would have gotten the points. But here you see it's the final fight of the day. I think it was like a few seconds. If I didn't get the stun there, I've got like 100 resist um, accuracy on my Trenda. And I get the gold for chess. So this was uh, this week's push for me. Definitely did big mistakes versus those Gurgos. Gurgos were the thing that cost me platinum this week. And uh, next week, I'm gonna try and, and move my Trenda on an immunity set, see how that goes. Maybe I'll try it during this week and see how she fares against top teams. I wanna see, basically I need to go to Platinum right now, during the weekdays or the weekend, not test the teams like final day because um, that's gonna be too late. I need to test my Trenda with an immunity, see how much damage she can do. I think you can get her to 5,500 um, attack, 100% crit rate, uh, 240 critical damage with an immunity set, but not a um, not a cruel set. So she's gonna be lacking a, a bit of uh, defense penetration, defense ignore. So I'll see how that goes. And guys, uh, if you do like these videos on the plat push uh, reset, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, if you don't, then I'll just stop doing them because, well, yeah, you're not enjoying them. But I, I do like to do them honestly. And, uh, and, and give out my own thoughts and see my mistakes, where I did wrong, and each week try to improve. Like my defense was way better this week. I think I just lost three times this week. Yeah, three three defeats over half an hour uh, or so. This team, this one wasn't my, my defense. I didn't have my proper defense on. This one was my proper defense on. And these teams are reasonable for me to be defeated by. Um, maybe, maybe I'll remove Krisk. From my team there and try something else for next reset i'll think i'll think about it thank you guys for watching this video subscribe if you haven't already and guys i'll see you in the next one see ya